I'm 79432 and welcome back to my Mega Man Zero 4 Let's Play. Um, in the last part, some stuff happened in the story. Um, Niej got taken by Kraft. And um, as you can see here, I got this glowing ball next to me and that's actually the Cyber Elf of this game. So the Cyber Elf works a little bit differently here. Instead of having all these, or three at a time Cyber Elves, now you have one and you can activate three abilities at a time. It's basically the same thing, but you have to unlock the next le uh, level of Cyber Elf. Uh, I think I already explained this, but that's why my health bar is bigger, and I can also do a triple slash, uh, upper slash attack, and run faster or something. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna use that for this mission, so let's go. This is the point where Kraft disappeared after taking Nige. This is probably the forward base for Ragnarok operations. So Nige is here. Hey, Zero. Are we doing the right thing? You mean the people in the settlement? Yeah. Even if we help Nige, what good will it do for the people to open their hearts? I've been thinking ever since I heard about how much the humans hate the Reploids. I wonder if we can make this world a better place. Incoming transmission. An outside mine. It's coming from the settlement. Huh? Patching it through. Come in, Zero. We can't do anything to save Nige. We humans aren't as strong as you Reploids. But you were right. If we abandon Nige, this whole settlement means nothing. From the moment we all decided to live free of Wiles' rule, Nige has helped us too many times to count. We don't have the right to ask you this, but... Please save Nige for us. If you really aren't like Wile and the others, please lend us your strength. Zero. I will save Nige. Thank you, and good luck. Zero, we're ready when you are. Zero, be careful out there. Operator, transfer me. Alright, ready for transfer. Zero. Make sure you come back in one piece. Keep going and you will eventually reach a duct leading inside. It's dangerous, but it leads to Nige's location. Alright, yeah, here we are. This is the, um, prison. Really dramatic moon looking there. Maybe, um, Rockman Trigger's still in there. The Mega Man Legends. Um, whatever. This is the prison level, like I said just a few seconds ago. Not sure if you heard me, but it's a pretty simple level. No, uh, really unique mechanics other than these fans that are just kind of here. And guess what they do? They push you backwards, and if you run into them, you get herded. Now, um, there's some health pickups here, and... Yeah, it's a pretty basic level. Just kind of carefully make your way through here. Not too many high damage enemies. Lots of pickups over in the hidden corners behind the fans. Like I said, simple. And, um, already, we're pretty much through, and ahead we got a little boss fight right here. Uh, this boss up ahead is the only boss in this game to be fought halfway through the stage, and not at the end. Um, here it is. So this boss is known as, uh... Hell the Giant in Japan, and uh, just the giant in America. And um, according to the database, it's he has spent a long time in prison, attacks with a hammer punch. And uh, yeah, when he uh, meets you, he actually says, um, Zero, you are zero, or something like that, according to my reliable source of the Mega Man fandom. And yeah, here's his attacks here, he has this rolling, rolling thing where his hands start rolling, and you just dash underneath it. He has his basic punch, you just move to avoid it, obviously. And once he does this super smash thing, uh, some blocks will drop down. Yeah, just watch out for those blocks, because they might, they might mess you up. And, uh, yeah. Fully charged saber works every time. Here's another cutscene here. Zero. What are you doing here? 
I'm here to rescue you. The people back at the settlement sent me. Thanks, but I still want to talk to Kraft. Is he a friend of yours? Kraft saved me when from Mavericks when I was just starting out as a reporter. I was amazed how he fought to protect the humans. <laughs> it's kind of strange, a human falling for a reploid. Well, I mean... Then I fell in love too. Nige fought her hardest to expose the truth to people. That's the wrong accent. Let's fix that. Kraft! Nige, you haven't changed a bit. Once you set your mind to something, you see it through to the end. Eh, that's a better accent, but you've changed. You think you're fighting for humanity, but you're just a pawn being played by wild. You understand nothing. We will destroy everything outside of Neo Arcadia with Ragnarok. That includes you. That's why I helped him so I could find you. To protect you. Not just you, but all humans and Replords. We have to maintain what little energy we have to survive. Even if it means a life under Wild's control. So that's why you blindly follow Wild? Stealing freedom and destroying nature just for survival? Is this a justice that you fought for? Dot dot dot. <laughs> you humans dare talk about justice? A hundred years ago, you drove me from New Arcadia. You've disposed of Maverick Reploid like garbage. Humans complaining about justice. Don't make me laugh. That's a bad voice acting. <laughs> you. Dr. Wilde. <laughs> You've been keeping busy, Zero. There are only four soldiers left now. But no matter. You still can't stop Ragnarok. Not a chance. Hee <laughs> hee A question for the lady. Will you stay and die in Area Zero for your freedom? Or will you follow Kraft's example and follow me? I really don't care one way or another. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's the face. The face of rage, suffering, and humiliation. It's my greatest pleasure. A pleasure only a ruler can fully appreciate. Don't you get it? Justice has long abandoned this world. Only life and death matters now. Nige, I don't want you to become one of the dead. Humph. <laughs> Zero, can you really kill me? A human? Do you want to become a maverick in front of her? Zero, close your eyes when I give you the signal. Hmm. So what will you do, Zero? Girl? If the only other choice is living under a, is a living death under you, I'd rather choose to laugh death in the face and face it with dignity. Zero, now! <laughs> what? A trick? Ah, I can't see. You'll pay for that. <laughs> oh, the wonder of flash grenades. Little scoundrels escaped. <laughs> no matter, Kraft. Continue with Ragnarok. And find those two. We'll show them the error of their ways. <laughs> Laughing death in the face and facing it with dignity is better than a living death. Niege, I. Wait a minute, Kraft. Just follow them. They're right there down the hole. All right, whatever. whatever. Are you okay? <laughs> that was nothing for a hardened journalist. Do you like the little trick I keep handy? We can't stay here. It's dangerous. Seal, come in. Get us out of here. Zero. I'm so glad to see you're okay. Is Nige with you? I'll bring Nige back first. I'm counting on you. Thanks, Zero. I only did what the people at the settlement asked. If you're going to thank anyone, thank them. I will then. Craft, sorry. Nige is back. Now it's your turn, Zero. I'm gonna bet it's not gonna work. Prison area escape detected. Repeat, escape detected. Upgrading to security level three. Zero, what's happening? I can't. Coordinates. Zero, respond. The signal's being jammed. 
I have to get out on my own now. Shouldn't be that hard, Zero. It's gotten out of worse places. Oh well. I just want to use my sub tank so I don't die. Because I'm going to run into something and uh, die, maybe. Yeah, right there. That would have been my death. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... Nisian Craft used to have a little thing going on. Uh, I guess it's not that much different than uh, Zero and Seal's thing. Or maybe it was, I don't know. I'm not some kind of spy, you know. Anyway, prison level here. It's a little more tricky. It's a little more tense. Uh, it's not really gameplay wise, it just feels that way. Uh, that was a nice drop right there, it just filled up my whole sub deck. Anyway, here is a little gimmick. You gotta either grab these or pull levers to deactivate some spike gate things. And then, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Also, there are these shock things you can just jump over. I'm not sure why happened that. And after these spike area, we got this slope thing. We stop falling out from the ceiling. And eventually, falling from the ceiling will not be little enemies, but a giant rolling ball. Which does quite a bit of damage, if I remember correctly. And, uh... Yeah, just look out for the rolling ball, and don't get squashed. And if you have to, then grab onto the little handle on the top. But, if you get behind the rolling ball, you can just watch as it destroys everything in, in your way. It's pretty neat. Just don't go on the wrong side. Up here, there's some centranium, uh, but again, I don't like the crafting system in this game, and I've never used it once other than to make double jump boots, and that was when I, um, looked it up because I missed the double jump from 0-3. Anyway, not much here. This is gonna be really hard because my controller, and we're out. Zero, come in. I'm free of the jamming. Bring me back. Understood. Achieving zero. A swap. Alright, there we go. That's a B. I didn't very, very good. Got hit by a lot of stuff, but whatever. That's not of the matter. The story is of the matter, not my personal pride. Oh well. That was kind of weird. Let's continue on. It's good to see you back. Where's Nige? She went back to the settlement to tell everyone thanks. I see. Do you think we really helped the humans? I do, but we're not out of it yet. There's still work to do. Right, let's put a stop to Wild's evil plan. Let's, right now. I had, um, I had this cyber off turned on, but now I'm gonna turn it off because, uh, again, personal pride. <laughs> All right, let's go. Next mission we're gonna do is the, um, actually first let's go back to the, um, hibernation chamber, because it's sunny there, and we don't have to worry about getting a mission penalty. You know, again, denting my personal pride. Alright, here we go. As you can see, it's sunny and there's no snow, because snow melts when it's sunny. I still have zero lives, and I want to fix that soon by getting some one-ups or either dying and getting a game over. Um, so here, down here, if you remember, it was snowy, but now there's no snow, and we can go through, and... Go down here. Pretty counterintuitive looking conveyor belt here. It's going backwards and all the stuff is gonna just ram into a wall. But whatever, it makes for a good platforming challenge, I suppose. Up ahead, we're gonna get the zero knuckle out and we're going to grab this key card from this one dude. And he just keeps going back, it's pretty annoying. Anyway, we have this key card now, and there was a locked door up ahead, if you remember. And now we can open this because key cards. And uh, in that in that room that we are going to open, there is a sub tank. So I'm gonna just fast you forward to that area after this boss, and after a few more platforming segments. Ciao. I could have just skipped ahead to this clip, but I like to flex my editing skills. Anyway, here you might remember this door. Just punch the key card in, and then go in. Right there, you got a sub tank, which is the only other sub tank you can get in the world that you don't purchase from NPCs. I think. I don't know. 
Anyway, let's just exit out of this level. Let's just exit out of this level now. And here we are, back at the base. Now we're gonna go for our next mission, which is gonna be Well, a really frustrating underwater level sometimes. <laughs> anyway, uh the boss is Tech Kraken and it's gonna be something about a submarine. Alright, so a giant drill submarine is patrolling the bottom of the sea and explosives are packed on board. And they're gonna drill into the earth and detonate the sub. So this is gonna break a tectonic plate and it's gonna be a pretty bad earthquake. Anyway, here we go. There should be an, an enemy submarine in the deep sea. Even for you, it, there's a limit to how much water pressure you can handle, so I'll try to find you a route. Get in there before the, before the count in the upper right runs out. That's not how water pressure works, mate. Oh well, here we go. Yeah, for this level, you got basically two and a half minutes to find a door, and yeah, so you just have to go through this labyrinth. Pretty simple, just go down, down, and then right. You'll find it within two minutes, I'm sure. Unless you're like me, and you didn't find it within two minutes the first time you played this when you were like seven years old. Um, but yeah. On this weather setting, which is the normal weather, wet weather setting, Sue so will try to contact you and give you direc directions, but due to the storm uh, above head, she won't be able to, and the reception will break up, which is pretty mean of the developers to do. Um, and only gives you advice on easy mode, so you have to find this door by yourself. Uh, there's also some little goodies like health and centranium. But yeah, once you reach the bottom, you should be able to find it pretty quickly. And then seal affirms that we made it through. We go through a weird looking 3D door because the submarine's spinning apparently because it's a drill. And here we are with another one of these dragon mini bosses. This one's ice, so it's gonna be weak against fire. And it's very convenient thing that we have the fire buster here, so we can shoot from a distance and also uppercut. Like that. It's a pretty nice combo. So all these dragons pretty much fight the same way. Just some of them might have a little difference. Hitboxes and attacks like this. Um, but other than that, they mostly fight the same way. Um, I never really thought about it, but it, that, that attack he just did by blowing the wind... Or, I, I shouldn't assume the dragon's gender, especially since it's a robot. Um, kind of reminds me of Air Man Attack from, you know, Mega Man 2. Don't know if you guys have heard of that game. But none of that matters now, Dragon's dead. So let's continue on through the level. We got ourselves some upward climbing. Which is easy for a ninja warrior like Zero. And then some more upward platforming like this. And in the background, you can see some 3D effects, which is pretty neat for, what, 2006? And, like, keep in mind, this is this is a Game Boy Advance, guys. This, this ain't no PS2, PS3. Um, I mean, 3D is pretty impressive on a handheld device. And then they come out with the Nintendo Switch. But whatever. This is 2006. It's all good. PS3 might have been uh, expensive, you know, with their giant enemy crabs and hitting weak points for massive damage and whatnot, but, you know, other than that, it was a good time for gaming and, I guess, other things as well. Anyway, that's kind of off topic, don't you think? Should be on topic here. Here's the boss, uh, Tech Kraken? Zero, you're here. I've been waiting a long time for this, Zero. I'm not just one of the eight warriors. I'm a remnant of, remnant of the Zenai army led by the late Phantom. I'm Tech Kraken. I only put up with that while in this whole plan, just so I could get revenge on the one who defeated Phantom. Feel the rage of my former master. I will enjoy sinking these fangs of ice into you. Yeah, you might remember Phantom from the first Mega Man Zero, or you might not, as he is a phantom. See what I did there, guys? Anyway, um, this ice boss, he likes to go in this portal thing and attack you. 
His little tentacle. Are they tentacle? I'm gonna just call them noodle arms for now. They can only attack horizontal and vertical, not, um, what's it called? Diagonal. Yeah, I knew that word, guys. And, uh, so yeah, as long as you're not in, as long as you're in a diagonal area from him, you should be, from the portal, you should be fine. He also sends out these little bouncy things, which are pretty weird. And, uh, sometimes he just attacks you with his noodle arms while he's not in the portal. But yeah, the uppercut and charge fire shot do quick work of this nerd. Die. Hurrah! I have lent my strength a while, and now I must pay. There's no way for me to save Phantom's soul. But I did what I have to do. Phantom, forgive me. That was pretty weird. Okay, I don't know if you guys remember, but we also destroyed, like, a ghost phantom. A ghost phantom, yeah, that's a word. In Zero Three, when we were infiltrating, infiltrating the uh, sub Arcadia. Yeah, you can flash back to that in Part Seven of my Zero Three. Yeah, there's Seal talking about it. Rest in peace, Phantom. Okay, I need to stop talking about dead phantoms. It's kind of weird, and it's messing with my grammar that I don't have. Anyway, let's. Uh, getting kind of off track here. I'm not keeping track of the time. You know, I think this is the end of the video. Um, yeah, coming soon is some more Mega Man Zero stuff. And uh, maybe I can save my data before the video ends. Maybe. Just maybe. Alright, peace and cheap kids. Go, uh, go enjoy living. Bye!